Good morning, good morning, everyone. Hello. Thank you for tuning in. This is、um, Isha. Thank you. I just want to say hello to everyone all over the world, all nations, all everybody out there right now tuning in to H2HDI. This is where、um, uh, every, well, every morning we sit down here and we like to share an encouraging word with you. Okay?、Uh, an encouraging word to、uh, kind of. If you're starting early in the morning, at noon, or at, in the evening, to give you a little boost or just to remind you. Because what we're going through, like I always say, we're, especially we're going through a time right now that's not too,、uh, we get forgetful. We forget and put ourselves down. And we just kind of give up that, no, I'm tired. I can't give up. You know, I, can't, I, I can't go on, this and that. You think that. That you're not、uh, feeling good or you're in the wrong place. You, we have to、uh, awake and remember that he said, You live and move in me. So, what do I do there? So, I thought about that for everyone all over. Remember, it's an encouraging word to boost us up. To give us energy to keep on going, okay, in your life and for others with you all over. And also,、uh, not forgetting, I had that all day today to say to everyone out there all over that you are not forgotten. You are not forgotten who you are, whose you are, okay? He was with you when you were made at that time. And I say that to you because why? Maybe today or tomorrow is going to be a born day for you, and you're going to celebrate and you're going to be happy. You're going to be vibrant, you're going to be alive. And I also say, those that are maybe next month is your born day, and on and on. So I say that to you today. Take it as an encouraging word for you. All right? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. Everybody ready out there? Come on, come on. <laughs> all over the world, all over the states. Hallelujah. We're going to get our pencil, like always, and our tablet, our paper, wherever you're going to write your notes. Okay? And of course, Elder, we have Elder Josh Malara that's going to be reading for us today. And we're going to go over some scripture that's going to speak about.、Uh, Some, you know, about、uh, the main scriptures that I want to tell you that we have to awake and get back into. Get up, perk up, let's go. All righty. So, today, this morning, we're going to start with uh, uh, what was that, Matthew? Yes, it was in the book of Matthew, chapter 6. Okay, verse... he's going to read that verse and then we're going to continue on. Okay,、yes. and remember, if you have any questions or、uh, you want to send a comment, just Push the, the comment、uh, button. Okay? <laughs> How about that? Yeah. Okay, go ahead.、Uh, All right. So it says in the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 10, beginning, it says, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. <clears throat> Ooh. In earth, in us. Let us not forget that his kingdom. Will come is here in you and in me. His will is being done. And why his will is being done? Because we get to that place where、uh, I begin, I really feel bad about myself. I think I'm giving up. I think I'm, I, I'm, I'm not prospering in his word, in him, or who he is. But he says, My will is going to be is being done. It's being so, it's in you. And I want to show you, and I want to remind you out there. And I know you read your, your word, you know, your Bible, you read it and you know, but I'm going to remind you, okay? You already know it, but I'm going to remind you, okay?、Mm -hmm. Okay, and we're, so this, today we're going to go to the book of Acts. Everybody out there? Already got your Bible? Yes, yes. Come on, everybody. Okay. So, I want to, I also today, I want to salute all everybody out there. 
Hallelujah. All the hoary hairs out there. <laughs> okay, let's go to Acts. Yes. Okay, we're going to go to Acts uh, chapter 17, verse 26. Okay. And it says, Acts 17, verse 26. And hath made of one blood all nations of men for to dwell on all the face of the earth and hath determined the times before appointed and the boundaries of their habitation. Verse 27. That they should seek Yahuwah if happily they might feel after him and find him. Though he be not far from every one of us. Hallelujah. Now, that verse is there. We have to seek him. We have to, we have to search him. We have to go and feel him. We have to. We have to get in prayer. We can't give up. Because we do. And we can. And we should not give up. In our life. Continue on. Continue, continuing on, it says in verse 28, For in him we live and move and have our uh -uh. being. Okay, you see there? Remember, take the word of encouragement that I say unto you today. And you know it already, but I'm going to remind you. If you're in a place of difficulty, or you can't move, or you're in trouble, there's no one for you to put your shoulder or say, help me, do something to me. Hallelujah, we don't want to get to that place. So to remind you that he says in that verse, which is verse 28, he says, remember that you live and you move and in that. him. You, you're being in him, you stand in him, you laugh in him. And you know, uh, I was telling Alter that uh, the, the scripture says that we live in him. And when you live, uh, we begin to sing, we begin to shout, we begin to dance, we look happy. We have a face that we have life in us. We have life in us. On our face, we shine because we live in in Him. And you know the word. I want to give it to you today. A word for the word. Uh, uh, what is it? To shout. When you're happy, do you shout, or you're all blue? No, you shout, don't you? Because you're happy. Hallelujah. So the word shout in Hebrew is rena. Rena. It's rena. rena. So write that down. That's today's word for you that I give you. We want to be happy. You know, he says to be have happiness. Happiness in your life. When you have happiness all the time, that means you have life in you. And you know what happiness is also? A share. A share in Hebrew. And that's us. You're happy all the time. I it's good to see you smile. It's good for all of you out there all over the world that he has put a smile on our face. Hallelujah. Yes. It's yes. good. It's good to see and face somebody with a smile on your face. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A face of life. Hallelujah. So, uh, Alder, continue please on that. Yes, continuing on in verse 28, and it says... As certain also of your own poets have said, for we also his offspring. Ooh, we're his off. Are you his offspring? Are you happy today? Oh, yes. Are you happy because you live in him? Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. You have life. Yeah. Come on, everybody. Yeah. Come on, get up, stand up, do something. Begin to move those feet, those hands, oh, clap yeah. your hands, do everything you can because I'm happy. Oh, yeah. You know, when you go to Psalms 30, it says there that I extol him. Why? Because he, he didn't let me go down to the pit. He didn't let me go down to the grave. Hallelujah. And I'm a 
testimony that I didn't make it, that, that I'm here talking to you, giving you an encouraging word the way he encouraged me. In the day of trouble, when I was going through bad times, when I laid down and I said, nobody's here. I can't find you. Yahuwah, where are you? Where are you, Yeshua? Where are you? And you know what? In the Song of Solomon, in chapter, I believe it's chapter uh, uh, 1, verse 1 says that the Shulamite lady laid there and she had right here on her chest, she had like a a bag of, of, of flowers, a myrrh, a great smelling that reminded her of her mm. Yahuwah, her Yeshua, right here, not giving up, rem reminding us, each other, that we live in him, we move in him. Hallelujah. My being is in, in him. Hallelujah. So I can smile. I can give you a smile. If you hadn't have a smile from someone all day or all week because everybody's in their little rut, I'm giving you a smile. Smile with somebody. Smile with your wife. Come on. Smile with your, smile wife. With your wife. Smile with right. your husband, ladies. Smile with your husband. Come on. Let's get out of that. We have to do that because why? You live and move in him. Oh, yes, yes. Hallelujah. And that's in Acts 17. And you read it. Verse 26, 27, 28. All righty? Yeah. Now remember, this is Isha, and I leave, leave you with an encouraging word to encourage you. So you can feel good all oh, this day, okay? Those that are traveling, well, you know, they work, they have to travel, they come back in traffic. Those that have to do this, that, whatever it is, just say, wait a minute, I live and move in him. I'm going to drive all day long if I have to, whatever it is, okay? Hallelujah. So remember, uh, as, I, as we leave, uh, you know me by now, I love to leave an encouraging finale for you all over the world, okay? This is Isha. I'm so happy to sit here. And to us, greet you and say hello from all over the world, every nation, every state, all over, okay? Hallelujah. So until we see each other again, one more time, I'm going to say thank you. And uh, have a, a good, wholesome, wholesome day today. And you know when you're wholesome, that's because you have shalom. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. So until we see each other again, uh, I want to tell uh, Elder Josh Malara to leave you with this encouraging word for you. Bye-bye. In the book of Acts, chapter 17, verse 31, it says, Because he hath appointed a day in which he will judge the world in righteousness, by that man whom he hath ordained, whereof he hath given assurance unto all men in that he hath raised him from the dead. Hallelujah. All right, till we see each other again. Shalom, shalom. Bye-bye.